All right, have you seen them at your house yet? A lot of people are now sharing pictures and videos of the cicadas emerging over the weekend. This is from Agnes in Sims Township here. As the ground finally warms up, this could be the week we really start to see them across the tri-state. New this morning, WCPO 9 News reporter Allie Kramer joins us live with some unique ways to keep the cicadas away. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, Julie. Okay, well, I've been asking people, you know, how are they going to dodge the cicadas? Some people say carrying like a bug zapper, one of those like racket shaped uh, deals. Some people say, look, just keep a ball cap on so that they don't kind of get stuck in your hair. But I also talk to people who are terrified and I'm talking terrified, cannot see them, do not want to be touched by them, that kind of thing of these cicadas. And so they're thinking much bigger and better when it comes to protecting themselves. I was horrified horrified. I'd never seen anything like it. I remember in 2004, I was not prepared. Both Jane Pyron and Billy Mays remember the cicadas back in 04 and 87. You might have a similar memory. I put the window down this much to get some air while I was driving it and one of those buggers flew in and I was like this all over the road. <laughs> Jane and husband Lindsay got married and moved back to Cincinnati two and a half years ago, but that marriage and move came with an escape clause of sorts. So I told my husband, I said, I'll marry you and I'll move there. But when the cicadas come, I'm gone. But like many of us, Jane has a job and can't just pick up and leave. So she had to get creative with a way to dodge the cicadas. I saw an umbrella with a, you know, with a shield thing all the way down. It was $51. I actually saw um, something online and it was like $100. <laughs> Lo and behold, Jane and Billy were eyeing the same male model, donning what's called a sneeze guard full body cover. I was like, I can make that. I had a whole bunch of umbrellas and I went and bought some cheap shower curtains and some tape. And I think we're going to like do some glue, maybe some Velcro here on the sides. And yeah, I mean, I think I think it's halfway good. She got some great stares in her neighborhood during our interview. The garbage man comparing her to a giant jellyfish, and he's not entirely wrong. Some people think I'm nuts, but I've had people that have laughed at me like my daughter that now wants me to make her one. <laughs> in fact, making one can cost less than 10 bucks, depending on what you have at home. I have a whole bunch of people that now want to buy these. Um, I don't know that I'll be making them. So far, she's only found one flaw in the design, so we made her put it to the test. Somebody said you get really close and you put it like that. Okay, and then you turn <laughs> and then you, and then wait, and then you gotta bring it with you and then you gotta, okay, and then you gotta push it down. Oh, and then you gotta hurry because they're gonna be bugs. Okay, guys, I told you I was gonna try and make my own and I did just that. I should have made this yesterday. I don't know why I waited, but I opened the hatch of the car and I made it in the back uh, this morning. Uh, the only thing that I forgot, again, all it takes is duct tape, two shower cur curtain liners, the clear ones, of course, and an umbrella. Uh, I forgot to seal the sides with duct tape. So like I have like a little door opening here, but of course I forgot to seal it. So it's just kind of like wide open on one side. She said she was maybe gonna put some Velcro on yeah. the side. Billy has some ideas. Yeah. I feel like we're going to see an upgrade from her uh, coming this way. But you know what? Yeah, people probably think I'm nuts, but guess what? <laughs> this morning I am dry. So how about that? This will be the new uh, the new mode of uh, dealing with live shots in the rain. <laughs> I can just see it coming. Now, now what if a bug gets trapped in there with oh, you? That done. Velcro oh. is done. <laughs> oh, exactly. You just ditch it and run, that kind of thing. <laughs> Wow. I You're love out. it. Yeah. Hey, whatever works. And again, as we can see this morning, it's very much working for you, Allie, in keeping the rain away, even though the bugs aren't it. surrounding you. Great. Oh.